Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hello everyone, and welcome to a special standard concept tech for Ravnica Legions. Today we're going to discuss a few new cards and how they can be used in standard to great effect. Keep in mind, these are just ideas, and in keeping with the Chuck Wagon MTG idea that normal is boring, we hope to inspire a season of more interesting deck techs. So we're not aiming for too many obvious approaches, we're just looking at what could be, no matter how weird or improbable. Our first card is Angelic Exaltation. This enchantment for 3 and a white gives any creature attacking by itself plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is equal to the number of creatures you control. So the idea behind this is to power up a single creature and send them at your opponent's face. Here's some creatures that would pair nicely with this idea. Led up Champion could really take advantage of having a bunch of creatures out. Not only would it get powered up from Angelic Exaltation, but you could tap those other creatures to double that effect. Of course, in that same deck, you would want to have something like March of the Multitudes to fill the battlefield with creatures, and you could throw in Carnage Tyrant to drive home a win. In red, you could pair it with Charging Tuscadon and a lot of small creatures. With its Trample and Doubling effect, you could really get a lot of damage through. The same goes for Swift Blade Vindicator. Moving on to Kaya, Orzhov Usurper, Planeswalker that has had a relatively lukewarm welcome to standard, I think this card could do some really great things if utilized correctly. First of all, it does have some really pertinent abilities. It can get rid of those pesky Arclight Phoenixes before they hit the battlefield as well as any jumpstart cards. It can also exile non-land permanents that cost one mana like Legion's Landing, Atlanta War Elves, Ajani's Welcome, Fanatical Firebrand, Get to Lava Runner, or other elements of Burn, White Weenie, or Life Weenie decks that could really cause problems. To build your own board state, you could use cards like Dead Eye Tracker to exile from the graveyard, Phyrexian Scriptures, Sentinel Totem, or Unmoored Ego to continuously exile your opponent's creatures until you can hit Kaya's ultimate. This type of win condition isn't too far-fetched. It'll take some work to get it, but I think it can be done given the right removal set. Next we have Gate Colossus. The only thing I want to do with Gate Colossus is pair it with every gate land possible. With that you could play it with Chamber Sentry to its greatest effect. And since you're playing artifacts that bounce back from the grave, you might as well throw in Traxos, Voltaic Servant, and Karn. You could even just cast your Gate Colossus and then sack it with Thud. Get it back on top of your library and do it all over again. And since you have access to every color of the mana wheel, you could include Domri, Chaos Bringer. Giving Gate Colossus haste or an extra plus one plus one counter could really put some pressure on your opponent. Domri also gives your opponent something to worry about as you move toward its ultimate. There's some work to do to get this deck together, but it seems like a really fun idea. Next we have Wilderness Reclamation. An obvious pairing that has been discussed widely is with Nexus of Fate, but since we always take the road less traveled, let's pair it with Electro Dominance. With let's say four lands out, and with the untapped trigger from Wilderness Reclamation on the stack, you could tap out untap and tap out again giving you six points of damage aimed at your opponent and a carnage tyrant on the battlefield or you could cast a monster march of the multitudes i think sylvan awakening could even be used with this to stand guard until the end of your next turn the last card we're going to discuss is biomancer's familiar for one green and one blue you get a mutant that reduces the cost of activated abilities of creatures by 2. You can't reduce it to 0, but you can drop it to 1. Sure, you can use this with Adapt, but that's just a little too obvious. There's so much I want to do with this card. So many activated abilities become affordable with this. Growth Chamber Guardian becomes an aggro beast. Shark to Crab can tap down your opponent's board. 
sorrow form hybrid could be actually used. But that's just the beginning. I want to play Gin of Wishes, Omni Spell Adept, Shalai Voice of Plenty, Resplendent Angel, Dismissive Pyromancer, Graveyard Marshal, Valiant Knight. All of these become that much better with this card. One of my favorite pairings, Elvish Clan Caller, can bring a formidable army to the battlefield. Nicol Bolas, the Ravager, can flip early. Draconic Disciple can make a token early. The Guild Mages even become better. Lead Guild Mage, House Guild Mage, Cult Guild Mage. Even Pass Wall Adept becomes fun. And keep in mind, this card isn't legendary. You can quasi-duplicate it. There's a lot more to talk about, but I hope this has sparked your curiosity and inspired you to think about all that can be made with the upcoming set. It's time to get janky, people. Thanks for watching, and let us know what you think in the comments. And if you like what you've seen, be sure to share this with your friends, your family, your pets, because everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Truckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games.